Welcome back to baseball. We're going to continue our top 10 worst PR disasters from the Wilpon era. This one is Willie Randolph getting fired at 3 a.m. The Mets decided to fly him out to California for a road trip. California? Just to fire him after the first game. Him and Rick Peterson. Oh, man. Was it egregious? Absolutely. This dude was sleeping. He got he got woken up. And you know me. I love sleep. I need to have some sleep. This guy, he did not get to sleep that night. Not at all. If I had to fly back to New York. I mean, Jesus. And then and then you have Rick Peterson. Rick Peterson says some weird stuff. What do you say, Ryan? He's telling people, well, I guess they ripped out the hardwood floor and put in the Tuscany tile. That makes no sense to me, but it made a lot of sense to Rick Peterson. <laughs> anyway, I want you to see what kind of uh, things the, the Mets fans were saying, but we're going to get right into it. Let's check out this video again. Number three is... 3 Willie. 315 New York time to be exact. Willie Randolph and two coaches fired. This after traveling to Anaheim and winning the game. Their third win in their last four. Randolph's demise started last September. The Mets' historic collapse. When they signed star pitcher Johan Santana in the offseason, it was supposed to push the Mets over the top. Instead, the team, with its hefty payroll, has languished. And then Randolph criticized the team's TV network for not portraying him well. He said it might be racial. He later said those comments were tongue-in-cheek. But the clock was ticking. And last night it struck midnight, California time. I know the perception is that the way it was handled, it was disrespectful maybe. The reason it was handled quickly is out of respect to Willie. The worst feeling in the world is when there's a guy in uniform in the game managing, Okay, and somebody told him already, you've been fired. That's, humil that's humiliating. Randolph leaves with a winning record and a contract through next season. As he left the hotel in California, he sounded crestfallen. You know, I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to fulfill what I really said I wanted to do here and um, get this team to world champs. That's what I've both been about. And um, it's very, very difficult right now. But, um, you know, I'm ready to move on. You've heard it a million times. It's not what they did, but how they did it. You can argue that a change may have been necessary. But in my opinion, the Mets couldn't have bungled this more. By sending out a press release in the dead of night, the organization comes across as devious and indecisive. It's just lack of class. It's exactly what it is. I mean, you think you got to wake up in the morning to find this nonsense out. You know, they could have did better than that. It's not proper. Would you like to be fired in the middle of the night? I wouldn't. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. 3 a.m. It must be lonely. And there's no other lonelier feeling than getting fired at 3.15 in the morning. Seriously, Omar's trying to save face, saying we did it out of respect. Mm. We didn't want to embarrass him. Yeah. Well, you failed on both accounts. Look, Omar, who we covered in number 10... Went out there and tried to do the worst thing possible. He tried to one-up himself on PR disasters, and I think he almost did. But it's Willie Randolph getting fired at 3M, but we can't forget about Peterson. Peterson, Rick Peterson, the pitching coach. Rick Peterson is a part of this, too. This guy has to get shown the boot. I mean, these guys went all the way out to California. You have one big win against K-Rod, and then you're just going to send him on a plane in the middle of the night, back all the way home to New York to face the media? Shame on you. It's like that construction worker said that it was improper. Well, it was improper. I'll tell you right now. But it this, was. But this was a proper countdown of the Mets PR disasters because nothing fits more, I think, than Willie Randolph getting fired at 3 a.m. Yeah, listen, that's terrible. But hey, coming up next, number two. So stay tuned. Baseball, Steve, Ryan, we're out.